I've been up since three this morning. I'm ready to do it now. Okay. Do we have to go in executive session? Sure. Okay. All right. You have anything else? I know we're going to talk about the um, about the uh, the bond. Yep. All right. So I'll just ask you to. Yeah. So you you're just going to appoint him. Is that basically the deal? Or no, it's like that too. We better talk. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, all right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why Tony yeah, yeah, yeah. kept delaying it because we couldn't be able to. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then, yeah. then we'll. Uh, and then we can discuss. Uh, how I, you guys want to go for right. the rest of money at your table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys really got to sit down and go and see what's feasible for them. And yeah, yeah. Up and stuff. Right. All right. Okay. 10 4. Sounds good. Everyone here? We're ready? Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Very impressive. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States. Remain standing. Uh, moment of silence for the... Uh, it's been a year since COVID came to this community. Um, Monroe got hit hard, as did the rest of this country, county. So uh, if you just keep those who perished, those who had it, their family members, and your thoughts and prayers as we approach that one-year anniversary. A couple of community announcements. Uh, dress down for leukemia. The uh, March 18th is going to be the uh, dress down for leukemia day. Uh, one rural town hall is, uh, is participating. Uh, we've been doing it every year since 2004. Um, if you'd like to make a uh, donation, please see Patty Cage. She's uh, cash. She's here uh, during the day, and uh, I'm sure she would deeply appreciate that. She's done a wonderful job uh, collecting that money for leukemia and uh, the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. So if you'd like to donate to that, please see Patty. Uh, done that for a bunch of years. Yeah, 2004. Or... Yeah. Good work. Hey, the announcements of uh, sound. All right, so this weekend we're going to kick off the Monroe Marketplace at the gym at Sacred Heart. This will be our second event following up the, uh, the holiday event. Uh, we're sold out this weekend, so please come down and support our vendors. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to, to the Downtown Revitalization Committee again for the downtown shenanigans this weekend was excellent. Lake Street again was packed, uh, so they're, they're really doing a great job with that. It's good to see. And, uh, on another note, we do have a new restaurant coming to Lake Street. Delancey's has been signed, so look for a construction to start there soon. Delancey's out of Goshen, so more good news. Yeah, they'll be going into our, uh, our old court building. Um, you know, we, we view ourselves as one town. It's not the village. It's not the town. Correct. It's about Main Street and getting it revitalized. And uh, due to the work, Sal, Downtown Revitalization Committee, and everyone's done happened. Things are happening downtown, and we want to keep that rolling. So, that's that's a great. That, yeah, it's going to be. Uh, Delancey's a brand name. He's a good guy. He's a good family. So, the, look for construction to start soon. He's looking to open in probably five months. So, keep your eyes open. Certainly, could be something that's trans, transformational for downtown. Absolutely. So looking, More posi looking, positive looking, news. Yeah, looking looking really forward to that. That's great. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to open the town board hearing. I'll make that motion. Okay. All in favor. Again, I. Skankarello, I. Okay, very good. Meeting is open. Okay, um, I'm going to make a motion to open the uh, public hearing regarding the uh, fiscal year 2022 CBG, uh, CDBG grant application. I'll make that motion. Bingham to second. Okay, all in favor? Bingham, I. Again, I. Skankarello, I. Okay. All righty. Um, do anyone signed up for that or? Okay. So this is for uh, ADA improvements for the, uh, the, the senior center. Ms. Morris, would you like to say anything about it?
Yeah, the, the, on the switch right is on here. top there. You're, you're exactly. live. Great. Okay, so the, um, the grant is for 2021, I believe, right? And 2022. 2022, right. So we are um, meeting uh, next week. We're doing a Zoom meeting um, with CDGB, and we're going to be talking about some improvements at the Senior Center. We've start some imp started some improvements um, over the last two years, and this would probably be the final stage of our ADA improvements. We have some automated doors inside the building, and we have an automated door and a new ramp in the back of the building that are now complete. Um, another project was the um, HVAC. So those were the prior programs going forward. Now, in order to get into the building, we're going to need automated doors. We're going to need a new uh, walkway to go into the building because, unfortunately, over the years, the front um, cement has settled and it really is no longer ADA compliant. So this would be probably the final push to get everything ADA compliant in the building, which would mean that seniors would be able to come in freely on their own and I would not have to sometimes hold the door open for them which, you know, although they don't mind, I think that they would prefer to be able to come in on their own. And, um, and then they'll be able to go in through the main foyer doors into the main room, and then into both the ladies and the men's bathroom upstairs. So this would really complete the, complete the circle, so to speak. Okay. Thank you very much, Ms. Thank Morris. You. Appreciate it. Sure. Okay, uh, Mr. Nugent, do we have to take any action on this? Do, can we accept? The, make a motion to accept the, the, the grant, or do we need to take action on this this evening? I, I don't know if you have to. I mean, you, you certainly can if you have uh, the information before you. I didn't personally work on this, so I don't know I, what you have uh, up for a resolution, or I don't know if it has to be done tonight. Yeah, go ahead, supervisor's on. Go ahead. It doesn't have to be done tonight, but I don't see any reason why we should. Emory, do you have any problem with any, that? Accepting it tonight? Are you good? I want to see it go. Let's go. Okay. All right. So um, that being said, can I get a motion to uh, accept? Well, oh, we have actually, we close the close hearing. The hearing. Make a motion to close the hearing. A second. Bingham I. Call the water. Bingham I. McGinn I. Cardone I. Scancarello I. Okay. The motion is duly passed. Um, okay. So we'll. Uh, do we have another motion to accept the uh, to accept I'll, the grant? I'll make a motion for the CDBG grant to be accepted for 19. Uh, excuse me, 2022. I'll second. Okay. Call the water. Bingham I. And I. Scancarello I. Scancarello I. Okay. All right. Very good. Brian, just make sure. Just make sure that it's detailed as it is uh, on board docs with respect to the improvements. You want me to read the proposed application is for the entrance ramp, the automatic door openers. I don't know if he heard me. I'll that. put that, I'll put all the proposal into yes. the minutes as the acceptance of the uh, uh, applying for the grant. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Appreciate Thank you, Mary Ellen. Hey, moving right along here. That closes out our public hearings for this evening. Uh, we're going to do the audit of claims, general fund abstract. We have abstract number 21-05. For $123,712.37. Can I get a motion to accept that? We have three signatures. Uh, that is a good I left a message for um, our bookkeeper, Roberta. So I'll, I'll make that motion as long as we have three signatures. I'll second. So pending the three signatures, second. Well, close question. Am I? Am I? Ancarello, aye. Okay, very good. Hey, 
Okay, we have uh, the next abstract is number 21-04. It's an escrow abstract. It is uh, for $8,805.35, 34 cents, excuse me. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Hold the question. Bingham, I. Can I? Scancarello, I. All right, very good. Hey, we have, hold on a second. We have one other. Yeah, we got the road opening, but there's also another, there's a wire transfer, wire transfer contain check number totaling. Da, da. All right, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pass on that for the moment, for the moment. I just saw it on the, uh, listed under the, under the, uh, the abstract. That's a refund for money posted for work done. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, because there's nothing else here. There's no other information on it. So, um, okay, road opening abstract. Uh, um, <clears throat> be it resolved, the Town Road Road uh, requests the approval of an abstract 21-02, the road opening containing check number 1293, totaling $10,000. Make that motion. I'll second. Old question. Bing a mic. Mike, you just want to add who it's getting paid to? Yeah, I'm looking for that here, Tony. Oh, Tad Trucking, Ted, I'm sorry. Tad Trucking. Yeah, Tad Trucking. Gotcha. All right. Hey, budget transfers. We have a... Uh, Abstract number 2021-03, and it is budget transfers um, from various budget lines, totaling $2,571. And 30 cents, I'm sorry, and 30 cents. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Call question. Being a mic. And I. Oh, no, I. Skanker, oh, I. Okay. Okay. We have acceptance of the March 1st, 2021 minutes. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All right. You have a second. Um, call the question. Bingham, I. Begin, I. Oh, no, I. Skanker, oh, I. Okay. Business. We, uh, we as a town have been uh, very, very fortunate to have um, some excellent Eagle Scouts as part of uh, the local Boy Scout troops that have done a lot of great work for the town and Eagle Scout projects. You know, namely uh, right out front there, the uh, the, uh, the flag poles and the, the, and the garden that was done along with other you know major improvements here to town hall um, I have two two boy scouts that have that would like to make presentations here this evening so without further ado can I ask uh, Noah Sequeros to please come forward how you doing Noah Hello, Mr. McGinn, town representatives. All right, like no, thanks for coming this evening. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for your time today, and I'm honored to be in front of all of you tonight. My name is Nosa Karos, and I'm a Boy Scout of True 440 in Monroe, New York. 
More specifically, I'm a Life Scout who's here today to propose my Eagle project that has the intention of improving the community of Monroe. More specifically, if you haven't realized, um, my Eagle Scout project is going to be the construction of a brand new dog park within our town. Now, if you look at the presentation, there is some contact information of people who are relevant to the project. Uh, of course, there's myself, there is my mother who's behind me, <coughs> and from True 440, there is my unit leader, John P. Portanova, and the committee chair, Steve Thau. Now, as I mentioned before, the goal of my Eagle project is going to be the construction of a new dog park located at the senior center and next to the currently out of use dog shelter that is there. The dog park, of course, will feature the amenities that will appeal to any dog lover, the, the toys, the attractions, a water spigot, lighting, seating, ground covering, fencing, signage, uh, complimentary doggy bags, and other small details. Of course, um, this is gonna be, the fencing is going to be repurposed from the dog shelter uh, to preserve costs and, of course, to promote uh, repurposing of materials and some of you might be questioning, why a dog park? Well, show of hands uh, from everyone, uh, how many dog owners do I have here today? <laughs> well, well it's unanimous then, isn't it? There you go. There you have it. As you can see, we have many dog lovers, and I don't mean just the people in this room. Every day, if I go to Monroe Ponds in the nice weather, you see people walking around with their dogs, and that got me thinking, you know, it's great that we have so many active dog lovers in this community, but is there a dog park for these folks? I know that if I'm ever visiting a dog park, it's usually the one in Woodbury, but I was wondering if there was a spot in Monroe, for the Monroe dog lovers, of course. And after some research, I found out, uh, yes, there was one, but it is currently out of use and does not possess the necessary amenities. So I decided that my project would be the construction of a brand new dog park right here in Monroe for the Monroe dog lovers to enjoy. And as you can see here, this is the site for the dog park, uh, if, you if you go past the, uh, the senior center on Mine Road, there's a, you come to a, a grassy plot in the back, wide open space next to that pavilion there, and that pavilion is where I'm going to uh, get the fencing from for the park. And um, on the presentation there and on this board, I have a digital layout of the park. You can see it's going to be separated into a section for large dogs and small dogs with uh, the toys and the trash bins and the benches. You can see the, uh, the design for the sign there. There's, in terms of signage, there's going to be a sign that is constructed by myself and my fellow volunteers that is gonna be placed in front of the park. And then I've also communicated with Highway Superintendent John Sherney to have road signs put up on Mine Road, specifically one in front of the Senior Center by the main entrance, one at the Mine Road's Reynolds Road intersection, and one at the Mine Road's Cedar Cliff intersection. So when the park is near completion and the time has come, I will have those ordered as well. As you can see, these are some of the toys, uh, the attractions that I plan on providing for the dogs and their owners. We're going to recycle some used tires and some other stuff is going to be constructed. The agility poles, the circular steps, some ramps, and of course a seesaw. Uh, if you, that top left image shows pretty much all the, uh, all the toys I'm gonna be either building or uh, repurposing. Seating. The seating at uh, this uh, park will be composite uh, benches with pressure treated wood legs designed to withstand harsh weather conditions and remain in good condition for a long time. Ground covering. So the current, uh, at the site there is a grass flooring, however there comes issues with that such as, uh, um, such as stains from the dog's urine. So I went and found uh, a business, John Coutron Sand and Stone, who made me the highly generous offer of um, <coughs> very good quality triple ground mulch, no splinters, nice and soft, for $10 per cubic yard with free transportation. If any of you are curious, I actually uh, I brought a sample with me today. If uh, anyway, that, that's there if you'd like to ask for that. These are the phases of my project. Um, phase one and phase two, we're essentially in those phases right now. <coughs> following, the, um, following tonight, I plan to send my proposal to the BSA Council, have that approved, and then get beginning, um, and begin on uh, getting my fundraiser event approved, which I will discuss later. 
you can see here clearly laid out how I plan to uh, how I plan to do things when I'm going to buy my materials. Um, on the actual work site, I plan to begin by removing the fencing, and of course, that comes with cleaning up the pavilion area. We'll get I'll have my boy, uh, my fellow Boy Scouts come in. We'll take all the leaves out, all the uh, town and village property will be uh, put in the correct place, and anything that needs to be um, recycled or removed will be will be disposed of properly. We're going to remove the weeds and the grass prior to um, adding mulch. We're going to add the utilities following that. Uh, and then we'll have the benches, the toys, the garbage bins, and the doggy bag dispensers. We're going to have custom-made rule signs. And of course, at the end, we're going to perform a final cleanup. Now, this is my idea for a fundraiser for this project. I've met with um, village trustee Dory Houle uh, regarding this because this is an event that would have to be approved by the, um, the village. Now, um, why well, I say it's the village because uh, it would be located at Monroe Ponds and it's a dog walkathon inspired by the amount of people I see walking around the, the ponds with their dogs. And uh, not only would um, not only would it feature uh, the ability for attendees to pledge, uh, pledge money to my cause, but there's also going to be um, certain activities that they can enjoy, a photo booth, possibly a costume contest. Uh, I've been suggest it's been suggested by um, Senior Center Director Anne-Marie Morris and Town Supervisor Tony Cardone that I provide a booth for someone to provide um, dog licenses to the uh, dog owners of Monroe. And it's also been suggested that I could have a canine demonstration with, um, I believe uh, Keen was the, uh, was the name. Yep. Yes, so that, um, that, could be made, uh, that could be made possible and we could have that at the, uh, the dog walkathon. That date isn't set or anything, it's just uh, a mock poster for the, uh, the fundraiser just to give you all an idea of what I've planned. And uh, that's, that's just some more uh, ideas of what would be at said fundraiser. Um, of course, uh, outside of the fundraiser, I'm going to have uh, an online campaign for don donations, Facebook, Monroe Matters. I'm going to be writing letters and visiting in person to, um, to businesses to seek donations. Uh, potentially, we could run an adopt-a-bench program since there will be five to seven benches at the park. Sponsors, of course, which I, I suggested could be located within the park on the fencing and at the, um, at the walkathon silent auctions to, uh, to fund my project. Well, let me tell you something. That was a very, very well uh, done presentation on your part. And, and uh, pretty much, I have no questions based on what you, you put out. That was uh, fantastic. I love the flyer. Plus some vendors. I mean, you, you've, got it all, you've got it all covered there. And it uh, sounds like a great project. Um, listen, I'm, I have two dogs. I have a small one. I have a big one. So... Having two separate areas for them is fantastic. We, we, uh, it's definitely something that's needed and that you commonly see in other dog parks. So, uh, yeah, it's a uh, great, great presentation and, and uh, we're very project. much, yeah, great project. Thank you. Great what's, project. Your, what's your cost estimate from, uh, you know, well, all the way to phase 14? The great thing that makes this possible for a 16 year old kid is the ability to repurpose the fencing and not having to pay for that. So our current uh, material and supply cost estimate is $6,500. Okay. Other fundraiser you might want to look into is possibly looking into people who do agility and maybe they could put on some kind of a, a show prior to the opening or even coordinate again with the village because people love to see the dogs do the the slide and the, the yeah the, the agility and the hoops and all that stuff. So I don't know. I, there used to be an agility group in Monroe, and also there was a service group out of Monroe too. Maybe at one of the times when you're doing some fundraising, they could get a little publicity and draw people down. Thank you. I'll take that into consideration. When are you going to start fundraising, or you've already started? Well. The, uh, the plan of action after tonight, um, BSA will have to approve my, uh, my proposal. Okay. And then once that happens, BSA will have to approve my plan for a fundraiser. It's nothing, uh, 
nothing too difficult. They just have to make sure that it's like it's worthy of being a project. And then after that, I will I have the event application for the village, and I will get that approved. Once that is approved, we can decide on a date, and uh, I will I'll begin fundraising. Also, once the once the uh, once the fundraiser is approved, I can also begin my uh, my online campaigns. Yeah, I mean it's that's a great location. Obviously, it's underutilized since we don't use that shelter anymore, and uh, it's it's that'd be that'd be great. We have plenty of parking. Um, dog parks typically tend to be a weekend. Not not that they're not used every day of the week, but there is plenty of parking there. Mrs. Morris, you don't uh, you don't foresee any issues with parking up there, do you? <laughs> Who's that behind door number three over there? Come on up here, you. Sorry. No, I, I actually don't. Mary and I were just discussing this when I came in tonight because that was one of um, Councilman Bingham's suggestions or concerns. And, and typically it is a weekend event. And then even during the day, I mean, I, I don't see a problem. Maybe on a Thursday when we have bingo, but people, you know, We'll make modifications. And then in addition, which um, she, she might not have been aware of, was when it was a dog shelter, a lot of our seniors that were former dog owners would go up and see who was there. You know, right. so yeah. I, I envision that continuing, that sure. they would go up yeah. and watch the dogs because yeah. many of them don't own dogs anymore, and I think they miss it. You yeah. know? So I, I think it would be a nice added addition and of course we have to pretty the area up there's some things that have to be removed and but that's all in the plan but um so there's there's a few things that we'll work with the highway department and the maintenance department in order to make this you know feasible so so I what, what do you have like 75 spots up there or? oh i think i have more than that yeah you know between the side yeah right i have right. just a few along the okay. back but i've got the side okay. and of course i've got the main parking lot so Great. If I if I thought it was a problem, trust me, I would have I would have addressed it. But I don't, oh, I know I honestly, you would have. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't think so. Yeah, and then um, I'm sorry for Noah, but as um, as he mentioned before, for the clerk's office, it might be a great way of um, getting new dogs um, that that haven't been licensed. Maybe it would be a great way of getting them to get licensed that day. But that was some thoughts that we were throwing out, and so you know. We'll have to talk to the clerk's office further, but um, you know, trying to to ca capture a lot of things going on at the same time, which you know might be helpful. Yeah, I think I think Mary Ellen, we would definitely want to have anyone that is using the park to be have a license. Uh, yeah, and would have. It's sure they have rabies shots, right, and right. things like that. So it should be a stipulation for them to use it. Right. that they um, okay. they have a dog license. No. So, uh, no, I'd be more than glad to work with Noah on the day of his event. Okay. We'll come down and license any dogs that we can um, because we do have a dog enumeration coming up very shortly. All right, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. The dog count, okay. All right. Um, again, Noah, really, really well done uh, presentation on your part. Um, one, one of the one of the better ones I've seen up here. Very impressive. Forget about for a young man. Eagle Scout projects. They just be better presentations yeah. I've seen uh, some architects do. So very 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 well done. Um, all right, based on based on uh, Noah's proposal, um, can I get a motion to accept the project as presented? I'll make that motion. Bring them to second. Okay, call the question. My. Begin I. Anchor all eyes. <laughs> In case, listen, in case people are trying to figure out what's going on, so Supervisor Cardone is obviously not here this evening because he's under the weather, as is, as is uh, uh, Councilman Colon. Uh, but but uh, Supervisor Cardone has, has joined us via, via landline. So when you hear that voice, that's what you're hearing in the background. So, um, so all right, great. Thank you, thank you very much for coming, and it was a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic job. And watching we, you, we, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we look very, very much forward to you starting the project, and even look more forward to you completing it. If there's anything you need on our end, the town, and I know you've already Absolutely. spoke to the superintendent, um, but if there's anything you need from our, you know, publicizing it, anything like that, you let us know, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Okay. So we're all here to help. Yeah. I'm very thankful. And again, great project. Can't wait to 
bring my dogs down there and get them out of my wife's hair. She'll be very happy with that. So thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to pause for one second, please. hanging out yeah well yeah they thought it was on the agenda and the other gentleman was here for arrow park which isn't on the agenda either so it's like i kind of had a feeling i was like uh, okay moving right along so uh under new business our next uh presentation will be by dominic watso and he is from troop 24 woodbury and uh, troop 4 woodbury i'm sorry and uh, he's going to do a presentation. So, uh, Dominic, please come up. Hi, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, you're good to go? Yep, uh, you're good to go. Go right ahead. You got the floor. It's all yours. It's all yours, right. buddy. Um, so, hi, my name is Dominic Wasto. I'm from Troop 4 from Woodbury. Uh, I'm a resident in, uh, here in Monroe. Uh, I'm 16 years old right now. I, am, um, I, I attend Monroe Woodbury High School. Uh, I'm currently a Life Scout working towards Eagle. And um, for my Eagle project, I'll be installing the guardrails at Mumbaysha Park down on the soccer field side and the baseball field side. Um, I've met with Liz Morris and Cody Cardone several times. Um, and uh, the, the guardrails are there so that when you're parking, um, so you don't park on the grass, and I think it'll make the parking lot look better and it'll look good. Um, and uh, they're going to be similar to the ones that are at Mar Mary Harriman Park and uh, Smith Clove Park, and then um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and what, what are you going to what are you going to construct them out of? Is it going to be? It's going to be wooden guardrails. Yeah. Yeah. Be, okay. There's gonna be holes dug up and um, gonna be filled them. Okay. And what, what's your timeline for for starting and? Um. Well, now the nicer weather is coming out. Um, okay. I'm planning to start as soon as possible. Um, I okay. I met with my um my troop leaders. They all they're all for it. Um, okay. Approved. Yeah, I met with council. They approved it. They, they said it's all good. All right. Fundraising. Fundraising. They approved the fundraising form. I haven't started fundraising yet. Uh, I want to get to. The, Right when I'm done with this, I'm going to get to that as soon as possible. Um, it's, it's looking at around like 15, uh, 1,500 to 2,000. How, approximately how many feet of, of guardrail is it? You know, approximately. Mm, oh, yeah. So We're not going to hold you each, to six yeah, inches. Yeah, yeah, no. So each side, so the baseball, on the baseball field side, uh, I, I measured it out. It's not exact. It's roughly like 167 to like 170 feet. And then... um. On the other side oh, of the baseball okay. field, 34 feet. And on the soccer side, one side is 58 feet. And then uh, in between, on the other side of the, the walkway, it's going to be 56 feet. Yeah, well, that's, that's you know, obviously very space. needed over there. Um, yeah, because you can, you can, especially the soccer side, you can drive right on there. Yeah. 
that's that's great. We're we're happy that you're mm -hmm. doing that. It's yeah, a, a well you, yeah. a well needed improvement mm -hmm. uh, to the to those to that field or those fields. And yeah. uh, anybody else on the board have any questions or project? If you need help fundraising, we're here. You know, All reach right, out to you. us. Yeah, We'd yeah, love to help you. And, and please, when you when you devise your uh, fundraising methods and and plans, however you're going to go about it. Uh, that'd be great, and when you have you know an updated schematic of, mm -hmm. of how it's going to look and where you're going to put it, you know we'd love to see that as well. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Happy and mm -hmm. yeah, thank. You. Help you along. They were blessed in Monroe. Scouts one right after another. Mm -hmm. You guys yeah, are no, a lot unbelievable, of us here. <laughs> especially my grade. There's a lot of us. It's really incredible. We just yeah. produce so many Eagle Scouts in in one community is incredible mm -hmm. hats off to you guys and your and your leaders yeah, great job two, yep. two, two percent of the entire of all the boy scouts only become eagles yeah and there's you a lot I mean? just right here so and uh, you're you're amongst uh yeah it's incredible past presidents astronauts <laughs> and other very uh very famous people so all right thank you very much well uh, can I get a motion to accept make a motion uh, to Dominic's accept project? Dominic's project for the um guard whales at Mombasia Park I'll, I'll second that. Okay, call the question. Bing am I? McGinn I. Don't I? Scancarello I. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dominic. Right. Appreciate it. And thank please you. update us when you when you have that information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. We'd thank like you. to know about it, okay? Awesome. All right, thank you. Good, have a good evening. Thanks Great for coming job. down. Thank you. Uh, so, well, acting supervisor, is that what I call you tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> call me Mike like everyone else does. Oh, it doesn't okay, matter. Mike. Can we go back to 5.1? Because I didn't have any backup in my packet about the wire transfer. Yeah, I don't have it either. That's why. So we're going to. Uh, I mean, we could. Uh, hey, Mr. Supervisor, are you there? Oh, he's not listening. So hey, can you just elaborate on that wire transfer so we can make a motion to pass that? Because I didn't have anything in my packet for that. Uh, are you talking about the road opening abstract? No. No, no, the, the wire transfer. Under 5.1. Uh, wire transfer for $781.48. Are there check numbers that with that? Or? No, no. There's there. When there's a wire transfer, there isn't. This okay. is always how so the was, keeping uh, puts it through. That was for M and T Bank. There was those are credit card charges. So one was for four hundred sixteen dollars and six cents, and the other was for three hundred sixty-five dollars and forty-two cents. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll make that motion contingent on three signatures. Bingham to second. Question? Bingham, I. Can I? Hold up. Scanker, I. All right. So, duly passed. Okay. Uh, American Rescue Plan Act funding. All right. So, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk, Mike. What's that? You'll Can talk. You Mike? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, this is obviously the... Uh, money that we'll be getting from the federal government with regard to the, uh, the you know, multi-billion dollar, uh, trillion dollar uh, uh, relief fund. And I had multiple conversations and emails with uh, Senator Schumer's office over the last week. Originally, they were going to, this is like so fluid, and originally what they were going to do was they were going to appropriate the money based on your AIM allocation, which is the, uh, the aid we get, each municipality gets from the, uh, from the state. Well, after they put that out, then they changed it, and it was going to become based on population. And the reason I say that is, so we were given, we were appropriated 2.17 million, which has to be split with the town and both the village of Monroe and the village of Ham. And when, when you break it down, obviously based on population, both the villages uh, would, would get their, their fair share. And that, those shares are higher than for the villages if it was done according to the AIM formula. Now, 
I've also been talking with our grant writers who have been very helpful with this. And Dave Jenkins has said that this is really part one. Uh, he's going to try to get clarification because originally, before this came out, the, uh, the Hudson Valley Construction Workers Association put out numbers for towns, and ours was over three million, and that was just for us. So there's a, there's another uh, part of this that we're still trying to work out and, and see where that comes from, comes comes from, and what the amount is, because the amount of the total aid that the government is giving never changed. They might have reallocated some of the funds to cities uh, and counties, but right now it looks like $2.17 billion, which we will split with Harriman and uh, the village of Monroe. And I think our numbers were, if I remember correctly, uh, the town would get 45%, the village would get 42%, and then the village of Harriman uh, would get uh, the remainder, which was like 12 or 13%. So that's really, really what that's about. I just wanted to give everyone an update on it. All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Supervisor. Appreciate that. Um, I guess we'll uh, we will know probably with by the next meeting if that is formalized and we're, what what those numbers are. Yeah, I, I I would say so. You know, Schumer might want to do a photo op with you, Mike, on Sunday morning. So uh, I'm I'm busy. <laughs> no, I'm <just> <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm sure you'd be happy to. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much for that update, and uh, yep. that, that's great. Um, we have uh, the next 8.3 is a, a resolution approving the full-time account, account clerk position in the finance department. Um, the supervisor office will re request the uh, account clerk eligibility list from the uh, Orange County HR and begin the canvassing process. All right. Um, and this is a... Uh, full-time clerk to, I assume, uh, replace uh, Helen Nickenbacher, is that is that correct? I, I couldn't hear you, what'd you say? I, the uh, the full-time clerk position, that's to replace Helen Nickenbacher, is that correct? The, the account clerk? What? Yeah, it's it's Lindsay. Uh, oh, Lindsay, Lindsay, yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, Lindsay. Uh, Nick Lombardi, who left as of uh, March right. 1. Right. But yeah, no, that's right. Lindsay was full time and she left. Okay. That's who that's it was. Yeah, this will time. be full time. Right. Okay. All right, great. So we're not going to take any action on this right now, right? Or do you want to do an approval? Um, we haven't really discussed the uh, the hourly rate either. So um, I guess that's something we could do in executive. Oh, we're going to just request the eligibility list from the county. And then we'll have to uh, obviously get the person pre-approved before we can do any uh, formal hiring. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So, I'll make that resolution to uh, hire a full-time account clerk for the finance department. Um, hourly rate to be determined, and that is to replace. If we, Mike, if, if you want to, if you want to put an hourly rate in there of between. Uh, $17 and $19 and 50 cents an hour. Okay, I'll modify the resolution that the hourly rate will be 17, between 17 and 19.50 per hour. Right, it's gonna come off the uh, civil service eligibility list. I'll second that motion. I'll second it. Okay, call the question. Am I? Begin I. I don't I. Cancarillo, I. Okay. 8.4, the Munistat agreement. Uh, That's basically the, our, our bonding uh, agent, which we sign this agreement every year. The same, same agreement we've had for the last two years. Okay, Brian, uh, I believe, has reviewed it, as, right. uh, as has... Uh, uh, Bill Jackson, who was our bonding attorney. 
Okay. I'll uh, make a motion to uh, authorize the supervisor to sign the Munistat agreement pending review of council. I'll second. Question? Aye. 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 Okay. Good. 8.5 M&T dormant accounts. <clears throat> Okay, so we have uh, we have two uh, town accounts at M&T that have been classified as dormant. One is the town justice, and the other is Mikva two. Um, not sure what that one is. Uh, Tony, you want to expand on that? On uh, the dormant accounts, M&T. Uh, well, I just actually, I just actually exed out of my. Uh, my board docs here, but there's one. One was a dormant account. Uh, I believe from I, I believe it was from uh, Judge. Uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank on the judge prior to uh, C. Milgram. Yeah, prior to Milgram. All right. Do we want to? Uh... Do we want to so authorize the supervisor to, to close those accounts? We just wanted to, uh, it's dormant, so we wanted to uh, transfer it. I believe it was going into the general fund. All right, so make a motion that we uh, authorize the supervisor to sign those accounts to be closed and transfer the uh, balance into the general fund. Second for discussion. Go right ahead there, Ms. Me. Since it was a town justice, should it go to another town justice account and not a general account? That's a great question, and I'd love to answer would, that. What did you say, Mary? <laughs> Since one of the accounts was for town justice, should it go to another justice account and not the general fund? No, no, a justice account can't be cold mingled. Uh, from what I was told. Am I correct there, Brian? Well, she's asking if you're closing that account, should it go to another justice account versus a general account? But I believe that money would have to go to the general account. I don't think you can just transfer it to some other justice's account. So I think the correct thing is, is what's being done. It should go because the court funds typically go in the general account anyway um, even though they're typically monitored separately for the court purposes um, in this case if you're closing it I think the money should be going to the general account although it could be tracked separately do you know what the amount is on that one supervisor I remember correctly it was like a couple of hundred bucks it wasn't even a lot of money all right, I, I think you can still do the resolution and uh, we can always make it subject to confirmation with the court system that um, it's proper that, to go to the general account or with the controller. All right, I'll amend I'll that, that uh, check after verifying with the OCA that the uh, funds would go to the general that we will uh, that we authorize the supervisor to sign the, sign the closure and transfer the, the, the funds into the uh, general account. Bingham to second. Question. Bingham, aye. 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 Skankarillo, aye. All right, very good. All right. 8.6, uh, the NDC contract. Uh, I'd like to table that until the, uh, the next meeting. Get a second on that? I'll second. All right, call the question. Bingham, aye. McGinn, aye. Cardone, Cardone, aye. Ankerello, aye. Okay, very good. Okay, the uh, Town Engineering Services Agreement. Obviously, uh, this has been going on for a while. I know Mr. Uh, Nugent has uh, uh, has has reviewed it, and um, everything's in order there, Mr. Nugent. Yeah, we worked with MHE on this agreement. Um, Many changes were made to it, and they provided the revised version, which is the version now before the town board. I will make a motion that we authorize the supervisor to sign the, uh, to execute the agreement with the MHE. I'll second. Second. Okay, cold question. Bingham, aye. 
Begin aye. I don't aye. Skankarello, aye. Okay. There was one thing in that service agreement. There were task orders. Um, I don't know. There was one about the the water codes in the town. I think there's actually two separate codes that should be reviewed. I'll touch base with Sean or not to double check on that for us. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this here. I see the. Yeah, I see there's a couple. There's a lot of task orders. Yeah, there's a lot of task orders. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, task orders are not part of the agreement. In other words, they're samples, but they're not completed. So, you know, we can always make changes, or if we need a separation for what uh, Councilwoman Bingham mentioned, I'm sure we can arrange that with MHE. Great. Okay, moving right along here. The. Um The assessor's office has, has recommended that we, um, let me get through the task orders here, has uh, recommended that we uh, pass a local law regarding the uh, commercial assessment appeals, and that's uh, an income, and include a income and expense law. So I'd like to set a public hearing date for April 5th, 2021 at 7 p.m. or there shortly thereafter. Bingham to second. Question. Bingham, I. Again, I. Scankerill, I. <clears throat> Councilman Cologne is not here tonight and he handles, he is handling the assessor's office uh, Carly, so I will make a motion we table that to the meeting uh, to be held on April 5th. I, I spoke to Councilman Cologne tonight. He was still waiting for one document from one of the dealers. Great. Okay. All right. So I'll we'll uh, I'll make motion. a motion we, we table that to the 5th. A second by Bingham. Okay. Cold question. Bingham, I. Begin, I. Ankerello, I. All right, public comment. We have anyone signed up for public comment? Ward Brower, come on down. Come on down, Ward. <laughs> Ward, are you happy winter's over? <laughs> Is it over? You know, well, not, not really. Probably not. <laughs> got snow. It's close, Ward. It's I don't close. want to say the S word there, uh, don't Superintendent don't Charity. Jinx. Don't do not jinx the weather. I know. No. Don't comment on it. I know. Uh, my only comment is. I'm glad we got a clock. Very well done. I like it. It fits the decor. It's a great addition. Fine. You're done. You did it. I don't know who's responsible, but it's a great selection. I think that was Valerie, right? I she think, found yeah, it. I picked it up. Yeah. yeah. That's a great, great, great yeah. addition. That's it. Yeah. And it goes with the place. It looks good. It does. It fits right in. Yeah. Something, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Fits right in there. Thank so. you, guys. And it's the Thank right time. Work. Thank you, Ward. Thanks, Ward. All right. Um, I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session to discuss uh, personnel matters. I'll second that. Call the question. Bingham, I. Begin, I. Earl, I. Scancarello, I. All right. Good. The motion. Are we going to have a motion? Yes, I'm going to make it right now. Jen sent me an email, so yeah. But, you know, if it happens for another district, then nobody's going to know. I'm going to make a motion to uh, return from executive to the regular meeting. Bingham to second. Call the question. Bingham, I. McGinn, I. Scan Carrillo, I. <laughs> Is the supervisor abstaining? Or <laughs> Um, no action taken on the personnel matter that was discussed in executive session. Um, however, uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to make a motion to authorize uh, town council to draft a policy to come up with a, uh, a draft a policy for uh, road openings and a bond to cover. Uh,
other contractors on town roads. Is that suitable there? Uh? Sounding Bingham to second. To Hold the question. Bingham I. McGinn I. Cardone I. Scancarello I. All right, the ayes have it. All right, being no further business, like the make a motion to close the meeting. After we say happy St. Patty's Day to everyone. Oh yes, happy St. Yes. Patrick's Day to everyone. Yeah, Wednesday. Be safe. Yes, be safe. Yeah, second. I'll second. Second. Okay. Call the question. Bingham I. McGinn I. Arlo I. Skankarillo I. Okay. Have a good evening, yes. everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Mr.